All right, what you need is, for banding, is your bands, obviously. Uh, this is a conditioner, this is Pangenix or whatever that's called. Brought telecom. Regular comb. And I like to have an extra comb just to help hold things back. Um, so I'm going to take out a bunch of bands. I always try to take out more bands than I need. Um, because you can always put them back, but it's a pain when you're trying to be bending to uh, have to be digging around for more bands. So, I'm going to make sure that we're combed out. So, there's different schools of thought about how to band a younger dog, um, but I'm doing it the way that has worked for me and that my breeder kind of uses. So, dampen the hair a bit. I'm going to turn his head slightly towards me. Oops. And then, I'm just going to part his hair straight down the middle. As you can see, starting to get the part down the middle. I'm going to take it back till about by the ears, the start of the ears. And I'm just trying to make it as relatively straight as possible. They've got that kind of bony part in the middle of their heads. That makes it a little bit hard to do a straight line right there. But that is approximately what you're going to get. And then I find that having things damp just helps so much in, uh, in keeping things out of the way. You're going to put your band on your finger. And your, and your and then I usually do it kind of like you would do your bubble, maybe a little bit further back. Um, you're going to part the hair again. So, hopefully you can see that there. So you've got the middle part there and then the side part there. And then you put your rat tongue comb down and get your regular comb. And you're just going to comb it through to make sure there aren't any tangles. His hair is staying down quite nicely, so I'm not going to bother using a comb to hold things back. And these bands you can do looser than you would um, if you were to be um, uh, banding for spray up, just because you don't want it to be like pulling at their eyeballs. Um, so there's quite a bit of, of give to that. Um, that's in there. I'm going to just bring my part back a little bit here. In the back is still here just so I've got enough. So I'm going to So this part is done, and now we're going to deal with this part. So again, we're going to put a band on our finger, and then we're going to go spray a little bit here. Oops. Oh gosh. We're going to go from this one till just in front of the ear. And 
and we're going to make sure that we don't get any of the ear hair into our band because that's just going to be not very comfortable. So you can see that there, we've got our part there and of course the part in um, at the top of the head. I'm going to pull this other stuff forward and pull this other stuff back and then we're just going to run comb through here just to make sure it's combed out. Again, things are laying down fairly nicely, so I won't bother using anything else to hold things back. And when you want to try and um, you want to try and when you're pulling the hair through the band, just hold the band away. Um, from the hair so that it's not dragging along the hair as you're pulling it through because otherwise you're going to end up uh, damaging your hair. So now if I were to leave it like this you wouldn't be able to see very well. So I'm going to pick uh, both up and I'm going to band them together. So, you can leave it like that. I usually add one more band here just so that his tips aren't going kind of everywhere. So, that is one side completed. So, then we'll move to the other side. You can see the front there, what's done and what's not done. So now we're going to deal with this side. Again, just gonna let it down, put a band on my whoop, my finger, and this comb. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna go right at the same line as on the other side. I'm gonna go straight down. There. So, there's our line there. Um, so if you wanted to use a comb to push the rest of the hair back, you would just um, kind of shove it in like that. And that just helps to hold things down. Oops. Normally it stays. But anyways, so we're going to go like that. See how I'm pulling so that's not just dragging along the hair. And then you can just pull it back a little bit if you need to, to create a bubble, or you can hold it a little bit and just pull down there, just so it's not pulling on their eyeballs. So I'm going to do the same thing to this next section here. We've already got the middle part done. We're going to put a band on our finger. That way we're not looking for a band when we're ready to go. And then drop straight down in front of the ear. So, you can see the line that we've created there. He's got some stray hairs here that I'm growing out. Um, so, again, we'll 
I'll show you with that comb in there. Holding things back. Don't mind him looking a little bit crazy for the second. I'm gonna try that one again just because I got some hair stuck under my fingers as I was doing it. Sure you keep the other stuff away from it. And so there is your two done. This one and this one. And then that's not because it's pulled too tight, he's just a little bit crazy. Um, and then we're just going to band the two together. And then we'll band the top section. <clears throat> so those are those sections done. Now, depending on how much hair your dog has, you can leave it there. But he's got a decent amount of hair, and it tends to come through his band and it can get kind of in his eyes and everything. So then I do a part just um, on top of his ears to kind of the back of his skull. Um, so I'm going to come around the front to do that. It's just is easier. So again, a little bit of spray get your band on your fingers, so that's ready to go. And then making sure you're not getting ear hair. Again, that's just not going to be comfortable if they can't move their ears properly. And this is going to be less wide than um, then the top knot because the ears are going to, to start higher up than where you've finished clipping. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Once I got this hair all parted. I always find that parting the one side is easier than parting this side. So I've got the two sides parted and now I'm just going to kind of bring it across at the back. So you can see how this stuff here, right here, is wider than where I'm making these parts for the ear. So that's what I'm meaning by that. So then I'm just going to take my band. Just gonna band up the rest of it. That's kind of roughly an inch apart each section. So that's 
that. So now we are going to work on the ears. I'm gonna back this up. So first you want to make sure, whoops, make sure your ears are fully combed out. And then get your band ready and you're going to feel down the ear for the edge of the ear. So his edge of his ear is right there. So once I know where the edge of the ear is, I can gather up the stuff that's below the edge of the ear. And I'm going to put my band in. And then I'm going to run my hand down and feel for the edge of his ear. So the edge of his ear is not in the band. I can put my fingers together below the edge of his ear. However, I'm still going to put my comb in. Just give a gentle push down just to make sure that his ear is fully free of that. Um, and then you just repeat that on the other side with the other ear.